being here today. Uh, Courtney's going to lead us through a 60 minute Hot 26 practice, so thanks for joining us. You might uh, get into a bathroom or a small area with a, a space heater and warm yourself up or just ease your way into it if you're not hot. So glad that you're here. Let's get started. Just a couple reminders. Take a knee if you need. This is your practice. Um, follow along. Come back when you're ready, and we'll take that first water break after you do a little rock. And this is a lot of help, and we'll be building that into your body. Other than that, have a beautiful day. We're going to begin with our Pranayama breathing. This is your standing deep breathing. Good free lungs in your respiratory system. We inhale by the nose, exhale by the mouth. Inhale, exhale, half into your throat. So keep the feet together, touch toes. The heels are touching. And all your ten fingers under your chin. Relax your shoulders. Find your eyes. Begin. Inhale, float your elbows up to the ceiling. Suck your belly up and in. Rib cage is visible. Keep the spine straight. Weight is in the heels. Elbows frame the face. One more sip. Rib cage visible. Hold it. Exhale, head back. Drop your head back gently. Press your knuckles into the chin. Bring the wrists, forearms, elbows forward to touch. Keep your eyes open. Lungs completely empty. Again, inhale for one, two, three, four, five, six. Full lungs. Exhale, head back for six, five. Four, three, two, one, lungs empty. Again, inhale, head down. The slower you go, the better you do. Synchronize in your breath and your movement to a count of six. Suck your belly up and in. Rib cage is visible. Spine straight, weight in the heels. One more sip. Exhale, head back. Press knuckles gently into the chin as you bring your wrists, forearms, elbows forward to touch. Eyes are open. Spine completely straight. Lungs empty. Again, inhale. Wind tunnel like sound to the back of the throat. Suck your belly up and in. Expand your lungs and your ribcage. One more sip, ribcage visible. Hold it. Exhale, head back. Open your mouth and make an audible H-A. Clog up the glass on the mirror above you. Elbows forward away from your chest. Lungs completely empty. Again, inhale. Bring the head down, chin parallel to the floor. Slowly float the elbows up to frame the face. Suck your belly in, ribcage visible. One more sip. Exhale, head back. Drop the head back gently. Bring the wrist forms, elbows forward to touch. Spine is straight, weight from the heels, elbows away from the chest, lungs empty. Three more best yet. Inhale, head down. Hold it. Exhale, head back. Beautiful breath. Elbows away from the chest, lungs empty. Two more. Inhale, head down. Slowly bring the elbows up to frame the face. Synchronizing your breath and your movement. Eye gaze in the mirror. Rib cage visible. One more sip. Exhale, head back. Dropping the head back gently. Spine is straight. Slowly put the elbows forward away from your chest. Eyes open. Lungs completely empty. Last one. Best yet. Inhale, head down. Wind tunnel legs down to the back of the throat. Suck your belly in. Rib cage visible. One more sip. Hold it. Best yet of the day. Exhale, head back. Open your mouth. Audible H A. Fog up the glass on the mirror above you. Bring the wrists, forearms, elbows forward. Keep your eyes open. Now press one more sip out, and then let it go. Arms by your side. Just stand. Moving into Ardha Chandrasana, the Padha Head Stops in a Half Moon Pose with hands to feet pose. Feet together to touch toes and heels touching. Bring your arms over your head sideways, palms touch. Now interlock the fingers, release the index fingers, thumbs crossed. Keep a nice tight grip here. Don't lose grip. Hands and palms touching each other like glue. Now inhale, stretch up to the ceiling and take top right and left. Right and left, you should feel stretching down both sides of the body all the way up to the fingertips. Right and left, maybe forward and backwards. Find some movement, just warming up the spine. Preparing for class. Right and left, right and left. Now come back to your stillness. Squeeze palms together. Arms squeeze with your ears. Inhale, stretch up to the ceiling. Now absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the right without bending your elbows or knees. Now continuously press your hips over to the left beyond your flexibility. Create a tremendous stretch all along the left side of your body, bones to skin, fingers to toes. Now bring the weight into the heels. And then pull the left hip forward so both hips of a mind. Right shoulder pulls forward. Open up your chest. Now come down. Press the hips to the left. Bring your body to the right. Squeeze palms together. Arms squeeze with your ears. Make sure your throat's visible in the front mirror. Keep your chin away from your chest. Find your eyes. Now come down. Press your hips to the left. Body to the right. One day that right hip stacks over your left ankle. Come down and push. Find your eyes. Come down and push. One more time. Find your edge. Come down and push. And then inhale. Breathe. Slowly come up. Stop in the middle. Squeeze palms together. Arms with your ears. Inhale. Stretch up to the ceiling. Absolutely straight line. Slowly bend your body to the left without bending elbows. Now again, continuously press your hips over to the right, beyond your flexibility. Create a tremendous stretch all along the right side of your body, bones to skin, fingers to toes, and then shift the weight into the heels. 
Pull the right hip forward, both hips in one line. Left shoulder pulls forward, open up your chest. Beautiful, come down, press your hips to the right body, to the left, squeeze palms together. Arms squeeze with your ears. Make sure your throat's visible in front here. Keep your chin away from your chest. Now come down, press your hips to the right, bring your body to the left. Find your edge, come down and push. One more time, find your eyes, come down and push. Inhale, breathing slowly, come up, stop in the middle. Now take a deep breath, full lungs, drop your head back as far as it goes. Try to see the wall behind you. Now squeeze the lungs together and lift your chest up, and then drop your arms back towards your ears. Try to touch the wall behind you. Now lift the chest up and reach your arms back, upper body back, maximum body weight in your heels. Inhale, press your stomach, hip thighs forward toward the mirror. Bring your arms back, look back, reach back, way back. Inhale, breathing slowly, come up. Stop in the middle, find your eyes, stretch up, fold forward, long spine, bend your knees here if you need, place your hands on the floor in front of you, and then bend your knees right and left, right and left, to release your lower back, this is a big huge turn from back, bend the forward, bending, squat down, pop to compression, normal, get that synovial fluid moving through the knee joints here. Now come back to your stillness, bring your toes and heels back together to touch if you've separated them, and let's get into the grip, bend into your knees and bring your stomach to your thighs. Now grab your heels from behind, underneath the heels, step on all five fingers of each hand, little baby fingers touch each other side by side one day. And then wrap those elbows behind your legs on your calf muscles, keep them there throughout the posture. From here, stretch your body down from the lower spine towards the floor, press your stomach to your thighs, bring your chest to your knees, place your face on the legs below the knees, no light space or air between the upper lower bodies. Now continuously keep pulling, pulling as you opt into stretching, pull the heels, stretch your body down, place your forward, your shins, and try to lightly lock the legs. Now roll forward, keep pulling, step your stomach in, eyes are open, forehead meets your shins, pull your heels, lightly lock the legs, last chance, lock your legs, and then release. Interlock your fingers out in front of you, same way as you came in, slowly flat back, bring you all the way up, arms over your head, meet your eyes in the front there, and then release, arms by your side, just stand still, find your breath. Moving into second set, half the time. Arms over your head, sideways, palms touch. Opposite grip this time, interlock the fingers, release the index fingers, opposite thumb on top for balance. Squeeze palms together, arms squeeze with your ears. Inhale, stretch up to the ceiling, absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the right, without bending elbows or knees. Now come down to your last point of resistance. Continuously press your hips over to the left, beyond your flexibility. Create that tremendous stretch all along the left side of your body, bones to skin, fingers to toes, and shift the weight into the heels. Pull the left hip forward, both hips in one line, right shoulder pulls forward, open up your chest, spiral that right rib cage up towards the ceiling. Now squeeze palms together, squeeze your arms with your ears, make sure your throat's visible in the front, your chin away from your chest. Now come down, press your hips to the left, body to the right, find your edge, come down and push, find your eyes, one more time, come down and push. Inhale, breathing slowly, come up, stop in the middle. Squeeze palms together, arms with your ears, inhale, stretch up to the ceiling, absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the left, without bending elbows or knees. Now again, over to the right, beyond your flexibility to create that tremendous stretch all along the right side of your body, bones to skin, fingers to toes, bring the weight into the heels. Right hip pulls forward, both hips in one line, left shoulder pulls forward, open up your chest. Come down, press your hips to the right, body to the left, squeeze palm together, arm squeeze with your ears, throw visible in the front here, now come down and push, find your edge, one more time, come down and push, find your eyes. And then inhale, breathe slowly, come up, stop in the middle. Take a deep breath, full lungs, drop your head back as far as it goes, the wall behind you. Squeeze palms together. Lift your chest up. Drop your arms back towards your ears. Try to touch the wall behind you. And then lift the chest up. Now reach your arms back. So upper body back. Maximum body weight in your heels. Inhale. Press your stomach hip size forward toward the mirror. Bring the arms back. Look back. Reach back. Way back. And then inhale. Breathing. Slowly come up. Stop in the middle. Find your eyes. Stretch up. Fold forward. Long spine. Bend your knees here if you need. Place your hands on the floor in front of you. Again, bend your knees right and left, right and left. Release your lower back. Big you turn from back, bend to forward, bending. Find some movement here. Come back to your stillness. Let's get into the grip. Toes and heels back together to touch. Bend into your knees. Bring your stomach to your thighs and grab your heels from behind. Underneath the heels, step on all five fingers of each hand. Little baby fingers touch each other one day. Wrap the elbows behind the legs on the calf muscles. Keep them there throughout the posture. And now stretch the body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Press the stomach to the thighs, chest to the knees. Place your face on the legs below the knees, no light space or air between the upper or lower bodies. Now continuously keep pulling. Pulling is the object of stretching. So pull the heels. Stretch the body down. Push your forward your shins and try to lightly lock the legs. And then roll forward. Keep pulling. Suck your stomach in. Eyes are open. Pull your heels. Last chance. Try to lock your legs. Pull the heels. Lock the legs. 
and then release. And now walk your fingers out in front of you, same way as you came in, slowly flat back through. Moving into Katasana, awkward pose. Right foot, please, takes a step to the right, six inches apart. Heels invisible behind the toes, looks like a perfect gauge. Keep a six inch gap between your toes and heels. Don't change your feet throughout the entire posture. And then bring your arms up parallel to the floor. Five fingers together, touching each other, elbows are locked, tricep muscle nice and tight, contract. Now stretch your arms forward toward the mirror like you're trying to touch the mirror. Suck your stomach in, exhale, breathing, sit down, feet flat position with 100% body weight in your heels. Now lift your chest up and then peel your upper body back. Suck your stomach in, compression of the abdominal wall, contraction of the abdominal muscle. Suck it in, tighten up, hold up, rib cage visible in the front mirror. And then check in with your knees. Keep a six inch gap between the toes, knees, elbows, and hands. Now chest up, chin up, lean back, way back. You're trying to fall down backwards. And then inhale, lean. Slowly come up, keep your arms there. Second part, come up on your toes, maximum like a belly. Answer tremendous concentration. Focus one point in the front mirror. And then stretch your spine, chest, head, whole upper body up towards the ceiling like natural human traction. Suck your stomach in and then sit down on top of the toes, spine, straight position. Now from start to finish, you should feel your hips and your head touching the wall. So sit down halfway. You're sitting in the chair, hips do not go below the chair. And then come higher on the toes. Bring the knees up towards the ceiling. Suck your belly in. Reach your arms forward toward the mirror. Bring your upper body back. Get the spine straight. Come up higher on the toes. One last time, hold. And then slowly press all the way up and out. Come all the way up. Feet flat, keep your arms there. Third part, come up a little on your toes, about an inch off your heels, and squeeze your knees together and forward. Zip up through your inner thighs. Suck your belly in, and then sit down as slowly as possible. At least 10 counts brings you all the way down, all the way down, leaning against the wall, hips and head touching the wall. Sit all the way down, squeeze knees together, come all the way down, leave a half inch gap between the hips and the heels. Now squeeze knees together and forward. Thighs parallel to the floor, arms parallel to the thighs, spine is straight, so from the side you look like a ball. Roll right off. Reach arms forward toward the mirror. Get the spine straight. Now press up, hover half inch off of your heels and hold here. And then slowly press all the way up and out as slowly as possible. So these knees together come all the way up, all the way up. Bring your feet flat, feet together, and arms by your side. Just stand still and breathe. Moving into Eagle Garasana. We'll have two sets. We'll flow right into our second identify arms, which is right, which is left. Don't mix them up. Inhale, arms over your head, sideways, palms touch. Bring your right arm under your left arm, cross your arms, twist like ropes. Bring your hands, palms together, thumbs towards your face, little finger towards the mirror. Pull your elbows down towards the floor, eventually fingertips below the nose. Suck your stomach in and sit down. Get your hips in the chair, keep your upper body back. Now lift the right leg up and over your left leg, maybe knee taps the elbow, cross your legs, twist like ropes. Now bring that right foot behind the left calf muscle, all five toes visible in the front mirror one day, or use it as a kickstand alongside your left ankle, but point your right toes where you want them to go. And then sit down a little bit more. Now twist like ropes, you're compressing the toe and your joints of the body. Pull your elbows down towards the floor. Now shift the knees to the right, upper body to the left. Get the feet, knees, elbows, hands, everything in the line of the front here. Your foot is coming out, sit down a little more. Losing your balance, upper body leans back more. Suck your stomach in, pull the elbows down towards the floor and then bring your upper body back at the end. Change, unwind, arms over your head, palms touch, other side. Bring your left arm under your right arm, cross your arms, twist like ropes, hands, palms together, thumbs toward your face, pull your elbows down towards the floor, suck your stomach in, sit down, get your hips in the chair, keep that upper body back. Lift the left leg up and over your right leg as high as possible, cross your legs, twist like ropes. And then bring that left foot behind the right calf muscle, all five toes visible in the front here. When they are use it as a kickstand alongside your right ankle, but point your left toes where you want them to go one day. And then sit down a little bit more. Pull your elbows down toward the floor. Bring your upper body back. Find your eyes in the mirror. Suck your belly and pull your elbows down. Shift the knees to the left, upper body to the right. Feet, knees, elbows, hands, everything in one line. That foot is coming out to down a little more. Losing your balance, upper body leans back. Now suck the stomach in and pull the elbows down towards the floor. Find your eyes in the front here and hold. Change, unwind, arms overhead, palms touch. Right into our second set. Bring your right arm under your left arm. Cross your arms, twist like ropes. Hands, palms together, thumbs towards your face. Pull your elbows down towards the floor, suck your belly and sit down. Get your hips in the chair, keep your upper body back. Lift the right leg up and over your left leg. The higher you get it on that left side, the easier it is to twist. And then bring that right foot behind the left calf muscle, all five toes visible in the front here. Use it as a kickstand alongside the left ankle. Now sit down more, twist like ropes. Arch the upper body back, it'll help eliminate the gap between the ankle and the calf muscle. And then shift the knees to the right, upper body to the left. Get the feet, knees, elbows, hands, everything through the midline. That foot is coming out, sit down a little more. Lose your balance, upper body leans back. Suck the stomach in. Pull your elbows down towards the floor. Bring your upper body back at the end. 
Change, unwind, arms overhead. Last one, bring your left arm under your right arm, cross your arms, twist like ropes, hands palm together, pull your elbows down toward the floor. Suck your stomach in, sit down, get your hips in the chair, keep your upper body back. Lift the left leg up and over your right leg as high as possible, cross your legs, twist like ropes. Bring that left foot behind the right calf muscle, one day all five times this movement from here, use it as a kickstand. Just sit down more and twist like ropes. Arch your upper body back, it'll help eliminate that gap between the ankle and the calf muscle. And then shift the knees to the left, upper body to the right. Feet, knees, elbows, hands, everything in one line. Foot is coming out, sit down a little more. Lose your balance, upper body leans back. Suck your stomach in. Pull your elbows down towards the floor. Bring your upper body back at the end. Find your eyes. Change, unwind, arms overhead, palms touch. And arms by your side, let it go. This is our first and only official water break. Grab a drink, towel off, find whatever you need here. And then come back to the middle of your mat. We'll move on to our balancing series. Moving into Dhani Mana Dhanasharasana, standing head to knee. Come in the middle of your mat, just find your eyes, bring them down through your toes. Now shift your weight into your left leg, left leg is locked solid and concrete, focus one point on your left knee in the front mirror. And then bend your right leg up in front of you, bring it to a 90 degree angle, flex your toes back towards your face, see the ball of your right foot in the front mirror. Get your right thigh bicep parallel to the floor here, and ground down through your left toes. Check in with your left knee, make sure your left knee is locked out solid and concrete, engage that left thigh bicep. This is your base posture, just stay here and work. If you're ready, with a locked out left knee, round down, grab the ball of your right foot, all 10 fingers included, interlocking your fingers just below the right toes. Check in with your left knee, make sure it's locked out solid and concrete, stand up a little bit taller. If you have the grip and you're ready, inhale, breathing, slowly, gently, kick your right leg out until it's exactly parallel to the floor, no higher, no lower. From here, kick your heel out and turn your toes in, so all five toes turning in towards your face, from the side, you look like an upside down L leg with the heel out, toes in. Now both legs are locked and you can balance here comfortably. Then only bend the elbows down towards the floor, touching with the calf muscle. Eventually elbows below the calf muscle. Find your eyes over your toes in the front here. Breeze here. Work for final expression. Tuck your chin into your chest. Gaze at your navel. Round down from your forehead directly to your right knee. And then change. Reverse to the posture. Slowly and gently, same way as you came in. Bring your feet together, arms by your side. Shift your weight into your right leg. Right leg is locked solid and concrete. Focus one point on your right knee in the front mirror. Bend the left leg up in front of you. Bring it to a 90 degree angle. Flex your toes back towards your face. See the ball of your left foot in the front mirror. Ground down through your right toes. Check in with that right knee. Make sure it's locked up solid, engaging that right thigh muscle. Now left thigh bicep pal parallel to the floor here. On your ready, swapping your grip. Interlock your 10 fingers. Slowly round down. Grab the ball of your left foot, all 10 fingers included. Hold it nice and tight, just below the toes. Check in with your right knee. Make sure it's locked out solid and concrete. If your right leg is locked, stand up a little bit taller. And if you're ready, inhale, breathing slowly, gently. Kick the left leg out until it's exactly parallel to the floor, no higher, no lower. Now kick the heel out and then turn the toes in. So all five toes turning in towards your face one day. From the side, you'll look like an upside down pal like Linda. Now both legs are locked and you can balance here comfortably. Then only bend the elbows down towards the floor, touching with the calf muscle. Eventually elbows below the calf muscle. Find your eyes over your toes in the front mirror. For final expression, tuck your chin into your chest, gaze your navel round down, bring your forehead directly to the left knee, breathe. Really beautiful, and then slowly change, reverse to the posture, bring your feet together, arms by your side, place your hands on your lower back, find a moment, back bend to reverse the front side compression, and then come back to your center, let it go. Moving into Dhanya Mana Dhanurasana, standing bow. Bring your right hand down, palm face up, elbow touching with your side. And then bring your right hand back. Don't turn your hand. Grab your right foot. Hold it from the inside at the ankle. All five fingers included. Hold it nice and tight. And then bring your left arm up in front of you. Shoulder close to your chin. Knees together to start. And then inhale, breathing. Stretch up through your left fingertips. Now slowly begin reaching forward toward the mirror. Simultaneously kick your right leg back up towards the ceiling as hard as possible. Kick into your right hand. Bring your right shoulder invisible behind the left and the front here. So two shoulders in one line from the side one day. Reach forward more, try to touch that front mirror. Bring your shoulder close to your chin. Now kick into your right hand so hard, shoulder blade scapula coming out of your body. Find your eyes over your fingertips. Now bring that body down, leg up, chest down, leg up. One day, all five toes from our top of the head, and you're like a crown, two heels, and one line from the side. Keep breathing here, keep reaching forward more. Bring that body down, leg up. The harder you kick, you can balance forever. Stretch and kick one more time, stretch and kick. And then kick to come out slowly with care. Bring your feet together, arms by your side. 
Other side, bring your left hand out, palm face up, elbow touching with your side. Bring your left hand back, don't turn your hand, grab that left foot, hold it from the inside of the ankle, all five fingers included. Right arm up in front of you, shoulder close to your chin. Bring your knees together to start. Inhale, breathing, stretch up through your right fingertips. Now slowly begin reaching forward toward the mirror. Simultaneously kick your left leg back up towards the ceiling as hard as possible. Now slowly hinging at the hips, bring the body down, chest down, maybe one day parallel to the floor. Keep reaching forward more. Try to touch that front here. Bring your shoulder close to your chin. Now kick into your left hand. Bring the left shoulder invisible behind the right in the front here, so two shoulders are aligned to the side. Now keep breathing. Bring your body down, leg up. One day all five toes from more top of the head mirror like a crown. One day two heels are aligned to the side. Reach forward more, try to touch that from here. Kick in your left hand, shoulder blades gathered, coming out of your body, bring the body down, lay up the harder you kick, you can bounce forever. Stretch and kick, one more time, stretch and kick. And then kick to come out, slowly bring your feet together, arms by your side, and stand here. All right, now come to the back of your mat, moving into Tulanandasana, balancing stick. Now this posture is only 10 seconds, so the moment you hear my clap, you start, no hesitation if you're late for children. Inhale, arms over your head, sideways, palms touch. Interlock the fingers, release the index fingers, thumbs crossed. Keep it nice tight grip here. Don't lose your grip. Hands, palms touching each other like glue. Now squeeze your palms together, squeeze the arms with your ears, bring your upper body back a couple of inches to start. Right foot takes a step. Lock both legs, point your left toes and move. Bring the body down, leg up. Destination capital RT is in Tom one day. Now reach forward more. Try to touch that from here. Point your back toes, try to touch the back wall. Turn the pinky toes down, parallel out of your hips. Body down, leg up. Stretch and reach every muscle contracting. Change, feet together, arms over your head, find your eyes. Swap your grip this time. Interlace the fingers, opposite thumb on top for balance. Squeeze palms together, arms with your upper body back a couple of inches to start. Left foot takes a step, lock both legs, point your right toes in, bring your body down, leg up. One day, everything parallel to the floor here. Reach forward more, try to touch that from here. Point your back toes, try to touch back wall, bring that body down, leg up, stretch and reach every muscle contracting. Change, feet together, arms over your head, find your eyes, and then release, let it go. Now please take a quarter turn to the left, moving on to Doggy Mana, Kibakata, Kashimata Asana, standing separate legs, stretching. Bring your arms over your head, sideways, palms touch. Right foot takes a big step out to the right, three to four feet, and nearly both arms down parallel to the floor. Now turn your toes in parallel to one another, it might feel slightly pigeon toed. Stretch to your fingertips, keep your chest in chin lifted, inhale breathing, hinge in the hips, slowly flat back, bring you all the way down. Come down slowly, all the way down, all the way down. Keep your chin away from your chest. Now, grab your heels from behind. So underneath the heels, try to step on all five fingers of each hand. One day, uh, thumbs included in the grip here. Now, pull your heels as much as you can. Tip your way forward to the balls of your feet. Bring a slight bend into the knees. Now, one day, those hips are going to stack over your ankles. Keep your chin away from your chest here and gaze at the mat between your toes. Now, pull your heels as much as you can. Stretch your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Bend those elbows up towards the ceiling. Pull your heels, gaze to the mat, stretch that body down, find your eyes down towards the, between your toes, pull the heels one more time. The harder you pull, one day you place your forehead on the mat between your toes, pull, pull, pull. And then release, arms up to the side, suck your belly and squeeze your inner thighs, slowly flat back, brings you all the way up. Bring your feet together, arms over your head, and release, arms by your side. Just stand here and breathe. Moving into our pinnacle standing posture, triangle trikonasana. We'll have two sets. Bring your arms over your head sideways, palms touch. Right foot takes a step out to the right, big step three to four feet, immediately both arms down parallel to the floor. Now turn your right toes out parallel to the mat. Keep your back leg locked at a 45 degree angle. Bend into your right knee and bounce a couple of times. Get down low enough, keep your thigh bicep parallel to the floor. Now stretch to your fingertips, keep your chest and chin lifted. Inhale, breathing, flip your palms and move arms and head together. And place your right elbow on the inside of the right knee and point your fingers towards the big and second toe. Now stretch your left arm up towards the ceiling. Maybe gaze to your left thumb. Bring your chin close to your shoulder. Go out visible from the side. Arms and shoulders stretch and reach in opposite directions. Now press your right elbow into the right knee. And then roll the left hip in and down. Now open up your chest and you'll feel a small spine twist. Gaze up to your left thumb. Hold and breathe. And then change. Arms and head come up. Straighten your right leg. Turn your toes in. Other side. Turn your left toes out. Parallel to the mat. Back of the lock at a 45 degree angle. Bend into your left knee. Bounce a couple of times. Get down low enough. Get that thigh bicep parallel to the floor here. Stretch your fingertips. Keep your chest and chin lifted. Inhale, breathing. Flip your palms and move arms and head together. 
Place your left elbow on the inside of the left knee and point the fingers towards the big and second toe. And then stretch your right arm up towards the ceiling. Maybe gaze to your right thumb, chin close to your shoulder, poke all visible from your side. If it's too much on your neck, gaze down to your toes. Feel your arms and shoulders stretching and reaching in opposite directions. Press the left elbow into the left knee. Roll the right hip in and down, and then open up your chest. Feel a small spine twist. Gaze up to the ceiling and hold for one breath. And then change. Arms and head come up. Straighten your left leg, turn your toes in, bring your feet together, arms over your head, and release. Arms by your side, stand here and breathe. Second set. Arms over your head, sideways, palms touch. Right foot takes a step out to the right, big step. Three to four feet, and nearly both arms down parallel to the floor. Turn your right toes out parallel to the mat. Keep your back foot locked at a 45 degree angle. Now bend into your right knee, bounce a couple of times. Get that thigh bicep parallel one day. Now stretch through your fingertips. Keep your chest and chin lifted. Inhale, breathing, flip your palms and move. Place your right elbow on the inside of the right knee, pointing your fingers down towards the big and second toe. Now stretch that left arm up towards the ceiling. One day you're gonna touch that ceiling. Gaze up to your left thumb, bring your chin close to your shoulder, poke all visible from the side one day. Arms and shoulders stretch and reach in opposite directions. Press your right elbow into your right knee, and then roll the left hip in and down. As you open up your chest, you'll feel a small spine twist. Gaze up to your ceiling and hold here. And change, arms and head come up. Straighten your right leg, turn your toes in. Last one, turn your left toes out, parallel to the mat. Keep your back leg locked at a 45 degree angle, bend into your left knee, bounce a couple of times, get down low enough. Stretch through your fingertips, chest and chin lifted, inhale, breathing, flip your palms and move arms and head together. Bring your left elbow on the inside of your left knee, point your fingers down towards the big and second toe, stretch your right arm up towards the ceiling. Maybe gaze to your right thumb, bring your chin close to your shoulder, profile visible from the side. Arms and shoulders stretching and reaching in opposite directions your left elbow into the left knee. Roll the right hip in and down, and then open up your chest, small spine twist, gaze back and hold. Beautiful change, arms and head come up, straighten your right left leg, turn your toes in, bring your feet together, arms over your head, and then release arms by your side, and find your breath. We have two more standing postures, we'll be on the floor in no time, moving into Dhani Mani Vibhav Padajana Shrasana, standing head to knee. Arms over your head, sideways, palms touch, prayer position, only cross your thumbs. Right foot takes a step off the right, a smaller step. Now pivot on your heels towards the front mirror, all ten toes facing the front mirror, two heels in one line to the, from the side. And bring this left hip around, hinge it forward, one, two, three, four, five times. Make sure your hips parallel to the front mirror. Inhale, stretch up. And as you exhale, tuck your chin into your chest, round to the spine, gaze at the navel, bring your forehead directly to your right knee. Now bring your hands down to the floor in front of you. Separate them if you need for balance, tend the fingers and press them out away. Now suck that belly in. Tuck your chin into your chest, gaze at your navel, and wiggle walk your forehead as high as you can on that right knee. Now press the mat away, round through the spine, press your forehead into your knees, see if you can lock out that front knee a couple of times with your forehead knee pressure, press the mat away, lock it out, one, two, three. Walk hands back together, prayer position, suck your belly in, slowly round out, straightening that front right leg, come all the way up, arms over your head, bind your eyes, pivot on your heels towards the side wall, pivot one more time towards the back wall. Swap your thumb grip. Squeeze palms together. Make sure all ten toes facing that back wall. Bring that right hip around. One, two, three, four, five. Now squeeze palms together. Inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, tuck your chin into your chest. Slowly round down. Gaze at your navel. Bring your forehead directly to the left knee. Hands down to the floor in front. Of you. Separate them if you need for balance. Tent the fingers here and press the mat away. Really round through the spine. Suck your belly in. Gaze at the navel. Tuck that chin into your chest. Now bring your forehead as high as you can on that left knee. Press the mat away. Suck your belly in. Now press your forehead in your knee and lock out the front left leg a couple of times. One, two, three. Walk hands back together, prayer position. Suck your belly in. Slowly round out. Straighten that front leg. Chin comes out last. Eyes meet the back wall. Arms over your head. Pivot on your heels towards the side wall. Bring your feet together. And arms by your side. Stand here. Please turn towards your original front. Moving into tree with option for toe. <clears throat> Shift your weight into your left leg. Left leg is locked solid and concrete. Focus one point on your left knee in front of you. Now bend your right leg up in front of you. Uh, give it a little squeeze into your chest. And then grab your right foot with your left hand from the sole of your foot up towards the ceiling. We'll walk that foot high up on your left thigh. Crease as high as possible. Hold on to your right foot with your left hand. Allow the right knee to drop down and back one day. Two knees in one line. Now bring your right hand over to center. If still you can balance, left hand meets right. You can remain here growing strong and tree. If you're shifting into toe, move your eye gaze three feet in front of you, hinge at the hips, slowly flat back, bring you down, place your hands on the floor in front of you. You can remain 
remain in half toe. If you move into full toe, bring all of your weight into your hands, slowly bend into your left knee, walk your hands back alongside your hips. Keep squeezing knees together, forward eye gaze three feet in front of you. Bring your right hand to heart center. Squeeze knees together, left hand meets right. Now press up, hover half inch off your heel, find your eyes in the front here and hold. Three beautiful toes, please return trees, wait patiently for our toes, grow one inch taller on your inhale, meet your eyes in the front mirror. And then exhale, release, let it go. Shake that right leg out. Shift your weight into your right leg. Right leg is locked solid and concrete. Focus one point on your right knee in the front mirror. Bend the left leg up in front of you. Give it a squeeze into your chest. And then grab your left foot with your right hand. Turn the sole of your foot up toward the ceiling. We're going to walk that foot high on your right thigh crease. Allow your left knee to drop down and back. Sunday, two knees in one line. Bring the right, left hand to heart center. If still you can balance without your foot slipping, bring your right hand to meet your left. Remain here, growing in tree. If you're ready for more, moving into toe. Shift your eye gaze three feet in front of you. Hinge at the hips, slowly flat back, brings you down. Place your hands on the floor in front of you. You can remain in half toe here, or bring all your weight into your hands, slowly bend into your right knee, and walk your hands back alongside your hips. Keep that eye gaze three feet in front of you. Squeeze knees together. Now bring the left hand to heart center. Right hand meets left. Press up, hover half inch off your heel. Find your eyes in the front mirror. Toes, please return. Trees, wait patiently for our toes. Grow one inch taller on your inhale. Meet your eyes in the front mirror. Hold here. And then exhale, release. Let it go. Acknowledge a beautiful, strong standing practice. Grab a drink, towel off, find whatever you need here. Turn around, lie down. Find your mid-class, the boss tonight. Nothing more for you to do. Just surrender to the space for the efforts of the last 40 minutes. <clears throat> Floor series begins with Papa Newman toss, no wind removing. Bend your right leg up. And then now walk your 10 fingers just below your right knee, half webbing the webbing grip. This is an arthritis chasing grip, find the grip. And then pull the right knee down towards your right shoulder out and around, completely avoiding the rib cage. Tuck your chin, keep your neck flat on the floor, and relax your left leg flat on the floor. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, pull your right knee down towards your right shoulder a little bit tighter. Inhale, exhale, pull, maybe feel a small pinching sensation in the thigh crease. And then one more time, inhale, exhale, pull, pull, pull. Remember, put your right leg down. Bend your left leg up. Swap your grip this time, and I'll your fingers just below the left kneecap. Pull your left knee down towards your left shoulder, avoiding your rib cage. Tuck your chin to keep your neck flat on the floor, relax that breath, right leg on the floor. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, pull your left knee down towards your left shoulder, avoiding the rib cage. Inhale, exhale, pull a little bit tighter, maybe feel a small pinching sensation in the thigh crease there. One more time, inhale, exhale, pull, pull, pull. And then release, let it go. Left leg hits, bend both legs up, and then reach up, grab around both knees, grabbing opposite elbows or as tightly as you can get, toes and heels side by side, knees side by side. Now relax your head back down to the floor and then tuck your chin to keep your neck flat in the floor and press your tailbone back flat to the mat one day when your spinal system's improved enough, the whole spinal column flat on the floor here. Gaze at that diamond shape made between the forearms and your knees. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, squeeze a little bit tighter. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze, pull the chin down, shoulders down, hips down. One more time, inhale. Exhale, squeeze, squeeze. Massaging the base, any deeps in the end, transverse columns, compressing these areas, then releasing, allowing the freshly oxygenated blood to rush back in, so healing for our digestive system, internal organs, reproductive organs, but also heart health also. In a moment, we'll have our first energizing sit up. If you have any neck or back issues, just roll over, meet us belly down, no worries, skip any and all of the steps that you need today. This is your practice. 
For everybody else, a couple reminders. The inhale brings us up. First exhale, we reach over our bodies with our peace sign. Being our second exhale, grab your big toes, pull your bodies down, find a forward fold, finding your forehead beneath the shins. All right, here we go. Energizing, sit up, toes and heels together, arms over your head. Cross your thumbs, press your low back to the mat. Inhale, breathing, sit up, double exhale, double foot, grab your big toes, pull your bodies down. Turn around, lie down on your belly, is moving into Bhujangasana, Cobra, like your shoulders, fingertips in line with the shoulders, little fingers in line with the deltoid muscles. Now zip your legs up, toes and heels are touching, you have one leg like a cobra tail. Press the tops of the feet into the mat so much your kneecaps lift up off the floor. Using 100% of your spine strength, inhale, breathing, peel your upper body up. Gaze up to the ceiling, very little weight in your hands, elbows come back to a 90 degree angle. Now pull your elbows down, back towards your hips and in towards your ribcage. Press tops of the feet into the mat, come up one more inch. And then slowly release, lowering down. Left ear to the towel, gaze to the right, arms by your side. Just breathe here. Second set, bring your chin forward. Plant your hands underneath your shoulders. Fingertips in line with the shoulders, little fingers in line with the deltoid muscles. You can zip your legs up, toes and heels are touching. You have one leg like that cobra tail. Press tops of the feet into the mat, lift your kneecaps up off the mat here. Using 100% of your spine strength, inhale, breathing, peel your upper body up. Gaze up towards the ceiling. Elbows pull back to a 90 degree angle. Pull them back towards your hips and in towards your ribcage. Squeeze them in. Press tops of the feet into the mat. Gaze up the ceiling, inhale, breathing, come up one more inch. And then slowly release, lower down, right ear to the towel. Gaze to the left, bring your arms by your side.
Inhale, breathing. Now kick in your hands and peel your upper body up. Now gaze up towards the ceiling. Maybe see all 10 toes come on top of the head and they're like a crown one day. Roll to the soft part of your abdomen. Kick in your hands. Draw them through your collarbone. Gaze up towards the ceiling. On your next exhale, kick up one more time. And then slowly release. Come down. Left ear to the towel. Gaze to the right. Arms by your side. Let the heels fall out. Just find your breath. Bring your chin forward. Bend your legs up. Reach around and grab your feet from the outside. All five fingers included just below the toes. Wiggle those knees back together within your body's frame. Inhale, breathing. Now kick in your hands and peel your upper body up. Kick your feet up towards the ceiling as hard as possible. Get those thighs off the mat. Roll to the soft part of your abdomen. Drop your head back. Try to see all ten toes from our top of the head in the mirror like a crown one day. Now kick in your hands on your last exhale. Kick up one more time and fly. And then slowly release, lower down carefully. Bring your right ear to the towel, gaze to the left. Arms by your side, just find your breath. Let it go. Bring your chin forward. And press up off your mat. We're moving into Supta Vajrasana, fixed firm. So come to the top of your mat here, sitting on your knees. It's a nice time to maybe grab a small sip of water if you like, towel off if you need. We'll get right into the posture. So bring your knees together and forward and separate your leg heels here. And then settle your hips onto the mat between your heels. If your hips are elevated off the mat, just stay here and work. If you have any knee or feet pain, again, stay here. This is your edge. If your hips are flush on the mat and you're ready for more, place your hands on the soles of your feet, fingertips facing the mirror, and drop your head back. To move on from here, lower the right elbow down. And then slowly your left elbow. Maybe the top of your head comes down one day, maybe the back of your head, and then one day your shoulders come all the way down. If your shoulders are on the ground, reach your arms over your head and grab opposite elbows, and then pull your elbows down. Lift your chest sternum up toward the ceiling. Relax your face here, normal breathing, chin away from your chest. Hold here. And when you're ready to come out, same way as you went in, place your hands on the soles of your feet and walk yourself out, right elbow, then left elbow, come all the way forward. Turn around, lie down, and Savasana. 20 seconds Savasana is in between each posture, allow you to receive the benefits of the posture before, prepare you for the postures to come, but just be in the moment. Let it go. We're going to make our way from the front to the back to the front of the mat via our energizing sit up. Toes and heels together, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, press your low back in the mat, inhale, breathing, lift it up, double exhale, double breath, grab your big toes, pull your bodies down, come to the middle of your mat, moving in Ardha Karmasana, half tortoise, sitting on your knees and your heels facing the front. Find your eyes in the front mirror, inhale, arms over your head, prayer position, only cross your thumbs. Now squeeze palms together, arms squeezed with your ears, keep your chin away from your chest in this uh, posture. Inhale, lengthen, and as you exhale, just hinge at the hips and slowly flat back, brings you down. Keep squeezing palms together, arms squeeze with ears, come all the way down, one day forehead touches before the knife edges of your pinkies. And once your forehead's down on the mat, squeeze palms together and stretch your fingers forward toward the front here. Lock out the elbows and tricep knuckles, settle hips down to the heels. Now keep your forehead touching the mat, keep yourself honest, chin away from your chest, so t uh, tip of the nose touches with the mat as well. Now reach forward a little bit more, settle your hips down a little deeper, feel that nice long spine stretch, hold here. Now listen to come out, squeeze palms together, suck your belly, squeeze your inner thighs, slowly come out, maybe forehead comes off last, arms over your head, meet your eyes in the front mirror, and then release, arms by your side, turn around, lie down, find a spot in the mirror. Energizing, sit up, toes and heels together, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, press your low back, mat, inhale, breathing, up, double exhale, double jerk the other big toes, Turn around to the top of your mat. Everyone should do this together. We're moving into Strasana Camel, standing tall on your knees, six inches between your knees here. So stand tall and then bring your hands to your lower back like you're tucking your fingertips in your jean pockets. Now take a deep breath and just drop your head back as far as it goes. Maybe you see the wall behind you. This is your edge, stay and work. Don't come out until we're ready. Now if you can and you're ready, come back halfway. See the wall behind you. From here to move on, grab the right heel with the right hand, fingertips inside, thumbs on the outside. Left heel, left hand, fingertips inside, thumbs on the outside. Full hand to heel grip. Now lift your chest sternum up towards the ceiling. Press your stomach, hip size forward toward the mirror. From the side, you look like a beautiful capital letter D. 
relax your head back, normal breathing. Wherever you're at, just stay full of one more breath. And then when you're ready to slowly come out, place your hands on your lower back, slowly come forward, chin comes parallel, last little hips down to the heels, and then turn around, lie down, Savasana. Camel's a huge heartbreak chakra opener, many emotions, sensations, energies can arise. Just acknowledge, notice, allow them to flow through you. Let it go, nothing to hold on to. Energizing, sit up, toes and heels together, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, press your low back, nine, inhale, breathing, sit up, double exhale, double jerk, grab your toes, pull your bodies down, come to the back of your mat, sitting on your knees and your heels for Sasangasana Rabbit. You can flip your towel over your heels if you need a drier grip. From here, bring your hands out in front of you, palms face one another. Sweep your hands back, cup, and grab your heels from behind. Thumbs on the outside, fingertips on the inside. Now inhale, lengthen, and as you exhale, tuck your chin into your chest, slowly round down, gaze your navel, round through the spine, bring your forehead directly to your knees. If you can't quite reach your knees, maybe wiggle walk your knees, uh, forehead closer to your knees here. Now readjust your hand to heel grip. Pull your heels as much as you can. As you pull your heels, lift your hips up. You're gonna round forward, tip forward, very little weight in your head. Keep that forehead knee connection. Pull your heels, lift your hips up. Compression posture, stuff that chin into your chest. Gaze your navel, pull your heels. One last time, lift the hips. And then slowly pull the heels, slowly round out. Chin comes out, relax, hold here, find your breath. Moving into Jinnah Shirasana, separate leg stretching. Bring your right leg out to the right corner of your mat. Tuck your left foot on the inside of your right thigh. You can always start with a bent knee here if you're not quite ready to go with a straight leg. Now inhale, arms over your head. Interlace your fingers, turn towards your right toes. Slowly round down, grab the ball of your right foot, all 10 fingers included. Tuck your chin into your chest, bring your forehead directly to the right knee. We've been here before in our standing head to knee posture. Now keep flexing right toes back towards your face. Suck your belly in and round through the spine. Roll the left shoulder in and down so you parallel out your shoulders. Bend the elbows down towards the floor, touching with the calf muscle. One knee will touch the floor. Now flex right toes back towards your face. Forehead meets the knee. For final expression, kick through your heel. One knee, that heel lifts off the floor. Hold. And then slowly release. Arms up over your head. Swap your grips. Swap your legs. Bring the left leg out. Right foot tucks into the left thigh. Turn towards your left toes. Exhale, breathing slowly round down. Tuck your chin into your chest. Grab the ball of your left foot. All 10 fingers, forehead meets the left knee. Suck your belly in and round through the spine. Keep flexing left toes back towards your face. Roll the right shoulder in and down. So parallel out your shoulders. Bend elbows down towards the floor, touching with the calf muscle. Keep gazing at your navel, rounding through the spine. Flex toes back towards your face. Now with your legs flat on the floor, kick through the heel. One day your heel comes off the floor. And then release. Arms up over your head. Bring both legs out, legs out in front of you and lie down for your own energizing. Sit up quickly. <laughs> Moving into Pashimodasana, legs stretching. Take your two peace sign fingers, grab your big toes, and then just wiggle walk your hips back a couple of times. One, two, three, as you kick to the heel, flexing toes back, get those legs straight. Now spine straight position, pull the shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, lengthen up, and as you exhale, hinge at the hips, bring your stomach to meet the thighs. Keep your chin away from your chest, gaze over your toes here in the mirror. Now inhale, lengthen, exhale, deepen, maybe one day chest meets your knees. Find your eyes here one more time, inhale, lengthen and lift. Exhale, pull one day your chin meets your toes, find your eyes over your toes in front here, and hold. And then release, come up. Moving into Artemis Chandrasana, spine twisting, bring your right foot up over your left knee corner. You can keep your left leg straight or you can bend your left heel in close to your right hip. You can sit your practice. Now bring your right hand around your back, palm face out or use it as a kickstand behind you and then inhale the left arm up. Exhale, reach left arm over right knee, grab left knee with left hand or the side of your mat, whatever you can use for leverage. Now inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, turn gaze over your right shoulder towards the back wall. Inhale, lengthen and lift up. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Maybe right hand comes around and grabs your left thigh for the bind. One more time. Inhale, lengthen and lift. Exhale, twist, twist, twist. And then release, let that go. Come back to center. Bring your legs out in front of you. Bring your left foot up over your right knee corner. You can bend that right leg in, right heel in close to your left hip. Or keep it straight if it's in your practice. Bring the left hand around your back, palm face out. Use it as a kickstand behind you. 
Inhale the right arm up. Exhale, reach right arm over, left knee, grab right knee with right hand or the side of your mat or something for leverage here. Now inhale, lengthen and lift. Get the spine straight as you exhale. Turn gaze over your left shoulder towards the back wall. Inhale, lengthen, lift up. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Left hand comes around and grabs your right thigh for the bind. One more time. Inhale, lengthen and lift. Exhale, twist, twist, twist. And release. Come back to center. We made it to our final breathing exercise. Kabbalah body and seat of Adrasana, blowing and fixed firm. So come seating on your knees or cross-legged, whatever is most comfortable for you at this time, just somewhere that you can support your spine. In this breathing exercise, we blow out air very firm between our lips. The inhale happens automatically through the snapping sensation in the abdominal wall and cavity. So focus on the exhale, just through parted lips. The inhale will come to you naturally. Shoulders will be completely relaxed and still, whole body relaxed and still. Um, it's like blowing out about 100 birthday candles really quickly. So <clears throat> just bring your hands to your knees, support your spine. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Inhale, halfway, part your lips, and begin. too long to dive deeper to 50 minute moving meditation. Please stay as long as you can finding your final Tadasana here. Allow your body and mind to fully receive. The light and sees, loves, respects, departs with light in each and every one of you for it is all for you now. Namaste.